What's a black swan? Before the discovery of Australia, we had no reasons to believe that swans could be of any other color but white, or people in the old world. And effectively, there was a, uh, an expression in uh, medieval England, you'd sooner see a black swan than, say, for example, uh, it, was, it was like saying when pigs fly or uh, when, uh, when, uh, when, I don't know, when George Bush uh, does something intelligent or something. It was immediately <laughs> exception. So there was an expression. Until we saw Australia, and effectively, one, the sighting of a single bird destroyed millennia of confirmation. So it was a, uh, posed as a logical problem by showing that there's no reason you cannot rule out a black swan because you haven't seen any. Okay, so my problem is not a logical question. My black swan is an event. It's not a bird. So, and it's an event that has three properties. The first property, it is hard to predict. Very difficult to predict based on information. Am I standing in the right spot? Okay. Based in an, on information before its uh, occurrence, prior information, based on historical information. You have here a sample of black swans. The most interesting one is the tie. Someone's going to forecast the future. We have to forecast that human beings 2,000 years away would constrict their blood supply with this device, for example, okay, and attend meetings. Okay, so that, that's very difficult to, to predict. The computer was a black swan. It changed the world. And nobody thought the computer could do anything. You know, it was initially used for combinatorics. I mean, the Watson from IBM did not think that this tool could have any use. The rise of religions, black swans, totally unpredictable. Uh, Harry Potter is a black swan. Uh, a lot of cultural phenomena are black swans. The, to me, the most significant black swan, and the one I'm going to focus next, a few minutes, is the first war. The first war we had after Napoleon, we thought for about 100 years that the world became civilized and that, you know, people became uh, conscious of, uh, of uh, the need for peace. And you had this devastating war, the biggest war, something that destroyed. Uh, and of course, it came in two volumes. You had volume one and then you had a sequel. So, so here we have black swans, events of low predictability, high consequence. But the most vicious part is the following one, is that before the fact, they're extremely predictable. But after the fact, you know what? We saw them coming. So we have, this is what I call the retrospective dis distortion. It's these events are prospectively unpredictable, retrospectively predictable. Why? We even have disciplines to make us, to give us the illusion of understanding the world. You see? We have disciplines that make us misunderstand the world by giving us this illusion of predictability. History, for example, economics, other such uh, things.